Hey guys, it's Mkra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is basically an unboxing of the Daikon V photo book and this is version A. So here, this is like a little book that comes with it. So hold on, I think I had it upside down. Yeah. So like Vicon and then on the back, it says must have. It's hard to see because it's like in a black print, but it says must have on the back. And it's basically just like a little calendar with like a few pictures of V. So yeah, on the first page here, it says must have. And then I'm just gonna show you the pictures with V since the rest is just a calendar. So here, and then this one, and then, yeah, this one is like mostly calendar pages. There aren't that many of him, so. I'm trying to find, okay, this one here, and then this one, he's got the lemon. I wonder, like, if those are his favorite fruit, if that's why he had lemons. I mean, I feel like the lemon fits, like, the spring theme he's going for, but I also wonder if that's, like, his favorite fruit. Here we go, him with the flower, and then a close-up of his eyes. Okay, and then I think toward the... Okay, there's some in the middle here. Hold on. So I'm getting to the middle part. Okay. That's a nice one with the side profile. I like that. And then, oh, another close-up of his eyes. And then this. Sorry, I'm trying to like not have my fingers in it too much so you can see. And then there's a few more for the end. This one. And that one. And on the page, it just says memo. And then there's a few more. Yeah, it's like, V's hot. I got the memo, all right. <laughs> He's very handsome. Yeah, and then this one, it's like a silver background. It might be hard to see. It's kind of like almost like a, it's not confetti, but it kind of looks like confetti. It's like a, I'm trying to think, it's almost like a curtain. It kind of makes me think of like a bead curtain, but instead it's like silver and it's flat and it doesn't have like the ripples like the bead curtains do. It's kind of just like this silver sheet. It's like a little kind of bumpy and wavy, but it's like flat. So it's not like a curtain where you like open it. Okay. And then this, let me see. This I think is just like a... Okay, this is a black and white. Okay, this is some black and white photos of him. So yeah, I'm trying to be careful with everything because I don't want to ruin it. Oh, this one, he has a butterfly. I wonder if that's a real butterfly or not. I can't tell. I'll let you guys be the judge. What do you think? Do you think that's a butterfly? Also, uh, speaking of black and white, I kind of feel like black and white photos are going to be a big thing next year because I feel like... Hold on, here's the next one. He has like a book. It says on um, the daikon on it. Can't really read the rest. It's like, there's too much of a like shadow over it to read the rest. But yeah, it's like, here he is reading. Yeah, I'll finish what I was about to say. I just don't wanna like talk too much and be distracting while I'll show you the pictures. Okay, he's looking up at the sky. Or I guess at the leaf. And then the butterfly again. Again, I just, I can't tell if this butterfly is real or not. Like, either way, the butterfly is very pretty. 
Like if it's real, it's a very beautiful real butterfly. If it's fake, it's a very nice fake looking butterfly. But anyway, I feel like black and white photos might become like a trend next year because I feel like these past few years, we've had so much bright and like saturation and like photos and media. I wouldn't be surprised if next year people like want to take a little break from that and kind of take like current pictures, but have it be black and white. So that way it's more like natural and it's not just like, hey, look at me. I have like every freaking neon thing in the world. Don't I look like as bright as the sun? You know, like I feel like this whole like bright in your face thing, I feel like that's starting to fade out a little bit. Like, I feel like that, the whole black and white photo thing, I could see that being more popular. Because, yeah, a lot of people do still like black and white photos. And sometimes I do think, like, certain features of your face actually get, like, accentuated more. Or, like, you can just see different features better with the black and white, where it's, like, if you have it in color and you have a lot of makeup and filters, then you're kind of not really seeing, like, the real person. Where I feel like with black and white, it's, like, what you see is what you get. So, it's, like, if that's their face, that's their face. And, you know, that's it. It's not like a, you know, let's contour and Photoshop you until you, you know, look nothing like yourself so I kind of feel like that whole minimalist black and white like photo I feel like that's going to be popular next year but who knows maybe I'm wrong and maybe people will continue to do a lot of bright in your face kind of stuff and will be like yeah I just want to be like brighter than the sun baby so we'll see but I think I think that would be cool if next year more people will just do like black and white photo shoots of just them just like maybe at the beach or outside or maybe on like their porch like reading a book like I would be down for doing a black and white photo shoot because I think it would be cool and like also I feel like black and white photos also look very timeless like even though black and white photos are like technically old I feel like they still have this like timeless quality to them like I don't feel like they look as dated compared to like a current photo like especially I think if you just wear something simple like if a guy did a black and white photo and he had like a white shirt like a leather jacket and, and jeans and he took a photo like that photo would just look timeless it would look like it could be from any era it wouldn't look to you know 2020 this or 1990 that or 1970 whatever all right I feel like I've been talking a little too much about that I'm sorry I just I don't know the black and white photos made me feel like maybe that's going to be more of a thing next year because I feel like I've been seeing more people do like black and white photos. And then these are two photo cards that I didn't want to take out of the wrapper because I don't want them to get ruined. But here, here's this one. And then here's the back of it. And then this one with the butterfly yet again. The butterfly looks more fake here to me, so I'm thinking maybe the butterfly's fake. And then the back. Yeah, this one, the butterfly looks more fake to me, like the way the butterfly is like on his face. Like, I don't know, something about it doesn't look 100% real. Like, the wings and everything look like a little painted on. Like it doesn't, I don't know, it looks a little too perfect. And then this is another thing that, again, I didn't want to take out of the wrapper so it's like it's stickers so yeah hold on i'm trying to get it. i don't want to have too much of a glare so the daikon and then v v hold on let me try to move this light out of the way here we go Hopefully this is a little better and you guys can see it better. Hold on. I'm going to move it this way so you can see these better. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I'm just trying to do the best I can here so you guys can see it. Because I know I can kind of see my reflection because of the camera. So, 
here. This one. And then this one with like the silver again. Okay. Got all that. And then now, the book. <laughs> How is this thinking of something that would be kind of funny? Um, if um there was some K drama and maybe someone had one of these. And like, so maybe, maybe it could be like a scene where it's like somebody comes to their house and they're like, oh, I need your advice, your help, whatever, like, please help me. And then there may be, and they make a joke and they're like, hold on, let me get my Bible so I can like find guidance. And then they like take one of these out and they're like, really? And they're like, V helps me relax and get to a spiritual place okay so don't judge me i feel like it would be so funny if like one of those k-dramas did that to make it seem like oh they're gonna like do something serious and then they like took one of these out and like looked at pictures of him and were like oh he makes my heart flutter oh oh thank you and then they're like able to like i don't know come up with their little idea or something that would be so funny because i feel like i've seen some like western shows do jokes kind of like that where they say they're gonna get a certain item and then it ends up not being that item. Or it's like alcohol. So they're like, really, you're gonna drink right now? And they're like, well, why not? So I feel like that would be like a funny joke if they were like, let me get my, like, my Bible or whatever. And then they just pop one of these out. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, sorry, I know. I feel like I'm rambling too much about nonsense. But here is the cover with V and his lemon. And then here's the back. And then yeah, I'm gonna do the best I can to like show you guys the photos without too much of a glare. Yeah, like I apologize if there's a glare, but I'm gonna try to do the best I can. So here's page one. And then this is just like, Blue. Yeah, and that shadow's like on the page itself. That wasn't me. It says, Blue, I'm thinking about you. Well, we're all thinking about you, V, and the rest of the members. I hope you're all safe right now and okay in the harsh cold winter. Here he is. He looks like he's telling someone to be quiet. Like, shh, just take the photo already. <laughs> So yeah, and then here's this one, a nice close up. I feel like the lighting did not do that picture justice. Sorry, yeah, here we go, that's better. Yeah, he has such a nice profile, the flowers, yeah. This is just flowers, and then this is him and his profile. Yeah, I like profile pictures like this. I feel like you just really get, like, he just, like, he has one of those faces where it's, like, every angle's a good angle. So it's like, yeah, there he is sitting. <laughs> the look on his face to me kind of says, like, are you done yet? He looks like he's waiting for somebody, and they're taking forever. Yeah, here we go. And then this page. His hair looks so like honey like here, like it's blonde, but it's like I feel like I'm getting like honey vibes from it. It's like honey highlights or something. I like it, it's pretty. Like it looks, it looks healthy. Like obviously blonde isn't like his natural color, but however they did his hair, it looks healthy here. It looks like shiny and healthy. Yeah, and I like how this is like a nice thick book because I do feel like some photo books some companies make, I don't like how they're like these 
thin like paperback books because it's like it's too easy for the book to like get bent and get like folded and ripped up when you like look through the pictures so i like how this is like thick i like how it's like a thick hardcover book as if it were a textbook so i really like that aspect and here's a close-up of V. He kind of looks like a villain in a K-drama here. Like he's waiting. Like he kind of looks like a villain who like has their plan set in motion. And he's just like waiting for everything to happen. And he's just like, yeah, I'm like going to, I'm going to get what I want today. <laughs> oh, a close-up. Oh, I like this picture. Gorgeous. Okay, these are like smaller pictures. So, yeah. Okay, and then here's another one of him sitting. Yeah. I hope when I'm showing you guys these photos, there's not too much glare. I'm really trying the best I can because I know that can be annoying when like people show something and then there's like a huge glare like this in your face. Yeah. And then these are just pictures of flowers. And then Oh boy, more close-ups, you guys. Now this, <laughs> now this looks like part two to the other photo where it's like my evil plan succeeded. Yeah, I got what I wanted. And then this picture to me says, you know you want me. <laughs> I feel like he has like such an expressive face, you know? Like, I feel like so many people want to be like, oh, he always has this like, blank face or whatever and it's like I don't really agree with that like yeah I guess sometimes he has like blank facial expressions but I think a lot of these like so-called blank expressions he has it's like I'm not seeing it if anything they look more mischievous to me like he's got a trick up his sleeve he's got a little secret he's not quite ready to spill yet so that's more the vibe I get from some of these quote-unquote like blank faces that people says he has like to me i'm getting more of a mysterious vibe than like a oh he just has no thoughts in his head or something okay garden and it says i'm thinking about you yeah there he is in the garden There we go, that's a good. All right, these are some smaller pictures. This kind of, you know, him waiting in the garden like this, you know what this makes me think of? Makes me think of the book in the movie, The Secret Garden. Do you guys know about that one? It's been so long since I've read that book or seen that movie, but I'm pretty sure it's about like a magical garden that like this young girl discovers. Yeah, there he is. But yeah. What do you guys think? Like, have any of you guys read that book? Or seen the movie? Because, like, that's kind of the vibe I'm starting to get now with, like, all the flowers and everything. Is, like, secret garden. Like, he's waiting, he's waiting in the garden to, like, tell you something see look see see here here I, see like i said does this not look like a timeless photo this black and white photo because he's just got simple clothing on you know like white shirt the blazer simple jewelry like this this looks like a timeless picture honestly like if someone told me this was from the 50s 70s now like i believe it like it could it could honestly work in like any time period 
like this like these are the kind of pictures i want to see people do next year where it's like you just wear like a simple kind of outfit you're not like in your face with your you know hair and makeup and jewelry it's just you know a simple subtle subdued thing and then just take a black and white photo you know like polaroid that needs to make a comeback everyone get yourself one of those black and white polaroids and take some good photos here here we go yeah i'm sorry if i'm annoying you guys with my commentary but I feel like I just don't want to like not say anything the whole time because then that's kind of awkward. I like this one how he has like his hand on his face. He looks he looks like he's kind of bored or kind of like he's like daydreaming. Like see and and look again, does this not look like a timeless photo? He's just sitting there in nature with his you know with the expression and his hand on his face. Like, this is, this just looks like such a timeless photo. Like, seriously. Like, this photo, I feel like if someone had this in their house, like, framed somewhere, I'd be like, that is art. I appreciate that. Like, that's just a really good photo. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice one. Wants to play a little game of cards. I'm not very good at card games, so I'm sure if we played a game of cards, he would he would beat me. He'd probably get a... Do you get a full house in cards? Or whatever the equivalent of a full house in cards is? I feel like whatever that is, he would get it. And then I'd lose. And I'd probably owe him like 50 bucks after that. It'd be like, dang it, me! You beat me! But it's like, all right. Mm, I like this one here. This one's a nice one too. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of into pictures where they like will kind of tussle their hair or like touch their face a little. Cause I guess to me, they look more like animated where if they're kind of just sitting there it can feel a little more stiff. Like they don't feel as human cause it's like they're not really moving and doing anything. Where it's like something like this kind of picture. It's like he, I guess he looks more human to me in a sense. Cause it's like, he's like moving his body and everything. So he's not just like sitting. Yeah, this one here, he looks like he's wishing he could be on vacation. He looks like he's like visualizing like his dream spot to go on vacation to and like just have a little holiday. Yeah, there he is again with the with the eyes closed. Daydreaming away. And then there he is with the menu again, with the little decon menu. See, and again, this this timeless photo you guys seriously this this would look good if someone did you know what honestly i'm gonna say something about this one and then i guess i'll shut up about the black and white thing because it's probably getting annoying at this point but seriously if someone wanted to make like a 1950s movie now and like cast all kinds of people so it's like diverse and all that this would be a great picture for that movie like if they wanted to like use different pictures of like different like actors and artists from like photo shoots and stuff like as like like posters and all that like this I feel like would be a great picture for that movie a great still like oh he's gonna meet someone at this like garden like tea time cafe place and it's like this is how he'll he'll, he'll be looking and it's like he'll be waiting for you he'll be waiting and then you guys can like discuss your plans or whatever. Yeah. I don't know, but that, that one looked like a, a movie picture. Like if someone told me that was like a still from a short film or a movie he was in, I'd believe it. It's like, it, it looks cinematic enough. Honestly, I feel like that would be a cool idea for a movie actually. Like what if someone actually did do that? Like a movie about the 1950s, but it's like 
modern in the sense of like diverse casting. Like that would be cool. I would dig it. It depends what the movie is about though. Cause I do feel like sometimes the 1950s gets like too romanticized. And then this is two on it. So I think it would depend what the movie is about. And then this is just two black pages in on it. It says, can we go back to that moment again? So yeah. And then here it's like the silver and it's like black and white. These pictures like give me like James Dean vibes. It's like Korean James Dean. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting. Here, let me fix my hair. And this one's in color, very pretty, very shiny. Black and white. These are just like random close-up pictures. Okay. There, that's better. Here, I'm going to back up a little so you can see it better. And then here. Mm. V. Sticking his tongue out a little bit. I'm trying to be careful because these are some of the last few pages and I don't want them to rip because I thought I heard one of them rip just now so I'm trying to be careful guys here and then these are some more smaller pictures oh boy more close-ups Okay. Yeah, sorry if there's a glare. It's kind of hard. These pictures are kind of hard to see as well because it's like they kind of have a glare to them themselves and then like also have light. So it's like glare from the light in the picture and then like glare from the light I have. So I'm sorry if those didn't come out as well. These are just like some more random close-ups. His face and like a little puzzle. Mm, I like this one here. He looks so cool. I like this one too. He looks like he's waiting for somebody. He's like doing like the pop in the collar of his jacket move there. Here we go. And then the last picture. Pop in the collar some more. There he is doing a little smirk. So 
that is it. That is my unboxing of the V Decon version A book, along with the accessories I got. Um, I would say probably my favorite pictures. <laughs> I think we all know the black and white ones that I kept going on and on about, about being so timeless, but they were just, they were so gorgeous guys. I mean, come on, can you blame me? I'd say those. And then there were like a few colored pictures I liked too, where it was like his profile and all that. Like there were a few, like there were a few where it was like his profile Like, um, I'm trying to find the ones where he had like his hand on his face. Cause there were a few, I think that were in color where it was like his hand on his face. And those were nice. Cause like I said, it's like, he looks more expressive. I mean, I'd say I like this close up shot. And then like this one where it's like, got the hand on the face. There's a lot of pages. I think this book has like 150 pages, so I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Yeah, like this kind. This one was nice. I really like this one. He kind of looks like a prince. Oh, and then this one, of course, the black and white. I mean, come on. Come on, y'all. Like... Yeah, so I'd say probably those kind are like my favorites. Yeah, and like this one here, how he's got the little menu. Yeah. And this one here, did I show this one? I feel like I didn't, but I think I did. This one here is nice. He's like doing a little wink. Yeah, I, I'd say the last few photos I just showed you guys, I would say those are my favorite. Yeah, I just, I think I really like the black and white ones and the ones where he has like his hand on his face because it's like, he looks more animated. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, I guess, unboxing and me talking about black and white photos and how timeless they are. And if you want to see more, I would say subscribe and like and comment. And I hope you have a happy holiday and a happy new year. And I'll see you next time. Bye.